Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Justin and today I wanted to take a look at five teams that have really intrigued me over this off season and I can't wait to watch them during this season in the NHL. Now, if you like this content, please consider clicking like and subscribing. I really appreciate the support, but it helps me out and it helps me make more content in the future. So I really appreciate that. But going into this list, again, five teams that I'm gonna keep my eye on outside of the Toronto Maple Leafs for this upcoming NHL season. Number one, the Chicago Blackhawks, and I think this is going to be on many people's list in this regard. And I can't be the only one that's thought that the Chicago Blackhawks have overachieved over the last couple of seasons after their decline from obviously a lot of success in the 2010s. I thought that they would have a longer stretch of time being at the bottom of the league, especially last year, losing someone like Jonathan Taze, and he might be uh, fully available to come back this year at full health. What a boost that would be, but what great acquisitions this offseason as well with Caleb and Seth Jones, Tyler Johnson, Marc-Andre Fleury. This team has really gone out and spent their money and is clearly not interested in rolling over and letting this team die. They want to keep competing for a spot in the playoffs, competing for deep runs, and I think that they very well could make that happen. Now, I don't think their team is obviously the, built the best to win a Stanley Cup next year year and it's no guarantee that they even make the postseason but they are going to be a very interesting team to watch again if Jonathan Taze comes back and plays to the standard that he had been playing a couple seasons ago that would be a tremendous boost to their center depth to their offense they made acquisitions to improve their defense improve their goaltending flurry with Lankinen that's going to be a great duo to watch I just think they're going to be a really exciting team, a fun team with a lot of stars. And I think Seth Jones could rebound. I think this team can make the playoffs. And if they do, with the amount of success that they've had with the players on their roster, who knows how deep they could go. Number two, sort of in the same boat here, but more from the perspective that this team hadn't been very good, but obviously has a ton of young pieces that are ready to take a next step and improve this team. But the acquisition of Dougie Hamilton this year, the New Jersey Devils. Now we've been saying it for a few years, we've expected them to take that next step, make the playoffs and go for a run with the likes of Jack Hughes, Nico Heischer, but they just haven't been able to get that done. This year, I think it's time. They have to take that next step. They've got Mackenzie Blackwood, a terrific goaltender who's shown that he can be one of the very best in this league. An offense that could be quite lethal with, again, the likes of Jack Hughes, Nico Heischer, Jesper Bratt. They've got such good pieces on the offensive front, and then they really solidified their defensive group with the likes of Dougie Hamilton, and they've got P.K. Subban, who they've overpaid. But it looks like he's on their third unit, which... If you've got P.K. Subban on your third unit as a defensive group, it can't be all that bad, even if you think that he's completely overrated. He is a solid piece to have as your third defensive pairing. So this team, I think, is one to look out for. Obviously, they're in a difficult division. It'll be interesting if they're able to really make that push to make the next step and make the playoffs and then proceed to go a little bit further in it and make a real push. But in the meantime, I think they're going to be a very fun team to watch in the playoffs, or sorry, in the regular season, see if they can make it. Uh, but I think they're going to be high flying and fun to watch regardless. And I'm intrigued to keep my eye on them for this year. Number three, and this one's going to be a little bit more of a hot one. I know a lot of people won't agree and I'm ready to bite my words here. But I think that one of these seasons coming up has to be the start of the collapse for the Boston Bruins. Their first line with Marchand and Bergeron, they're getting up there in age. But then also with David Krejci leaving, Tuka Rass not being signed, although they replaced him with a very good Linus Allmark. I'm curious to see if they take a step back this year. They obviously had some great acquisitions as well with Eric Halla and they keep uh, and retain Taylor Hall. So this team is by no means out of it at all. But I am curious to keep an eye on them and see if they do take a step back. And if I were to make a very hot prediction right now, I would say that the Boston Bruins come in fourth in a wild card spot this year. Now, I know that I've predicted this over the last few years that the Boston Bruins might not be to the same elite, elite status that they've been over the last few years. I thought that they would take a decline and they still haven't. So clearly I've been wrong. But perhaps this year is the year with those big losses that they've had. Um, will remain to be seen. Again, they're very likely to also come in first place for all we know, but they could also miss the playoffs because I can see Montreal and Ottawa battling for a playoff spot. It's just a team that I want to keep my eye on this year, and I'm curious to see how the losses of, like I said, David Krejci and Tuka Rask might affect them. 
Team number four here, we'll just get this one out of the way because I think it's on everybody's list as well. Anytime an expansion team comes in, you're always curious to see how they'll do, but especially after what Las Vegas was able to do just a few years ago, making it to the Stanley Cup final in their inaugural season, I think all eyes around the hockey world are going to be on Seattle. And this team, when they first got announced, I thought was not very good at all. But after they made some signings and picked up some players here and there, and then especially when you start to realize the patterns and the way they're building a team they seem to really have a purpose and I'm curious to see how the team actually ends up placing in the regular season now they're not in the best division so I see it very likely that they could slip into a playoff spot but I could also see them having the mantra that you know we're a team that's going to take a little bit slower than Vegas did we're going to work our way up really build some assets build some prospects some drafts picks so maybe they're a seller at the deadline and maybe they want to come closer to the bottom of the league and get another high draft pick but not to be mistaken, they've got very solid goaltending between Philip Grubauer and uh, Dredger. Not to mention they've got solid pieces with experience like Everle, Giordano, and they've made some solid signings with Venberg. Uh, it's curious. I I'm very curious to see how they can do. And like I said, it could go really either way. So I'm excited to keep my eye on how this team does this season. And the last one on my radar here this year is the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, I think Carolina is an underrated team in this league, especially when it comes to their defensive group. They've got a very, very solid group, but they lost some key people. I have no idea why they let Nedeljkovic walk like he did. And they let Dougie Hamilton go for absolutely nothing as well. And those are two huge pieces from the success that they had last year. And then they go and pick up Yasperi Kakanyemi, who could be a good piece for them. And I really like the fact that they did that offer sheet. You'd like to see more of that kind of drama in the NHL. So I loved it. Don't get me wrong. But paying him $6 million to be a second, third line center that doesn't really have much experience and has a lot to prove still... We'll see how that pans out. They've obviously got some really solid pieces, some underrated pieces with like Jacob Slavin, uh, Pesci, you got Svechnikov, Aho, Trocek. You got really solid pieces, but you lost some major ones as well. So I'm curious to see if they're able to make it back to the playoffs at the same standard that they did last year. I really thought that that was a team ready to make a deep push in the playoffs last year, especially under the great great coaching of Rod Brindamore I expected that team to go on a deep run it just didn't happen and I feel like maybe with the losses that they had this year they could even take a step back so I'm curious to see they replaced Nodelkovic with uh, Freddie Anderson who I'm an advocate for being a Toronto Maple Leafs fan I do think he's a good goaltender they gave him a little bit more money than I think he would have probably deserved so it just it's something I want to keep my eye on and we'll see how they do this season so there it is. Those are my five teams that I can't wait to keep an eye on for this year's NHL season, all for different reasons. Again, some I think are on their way up, some maybe on their way down, and some maybe we have no idea and I just want to pay attention and see what happens this season. But I want to hear your opinion. What are some teams that you are looking forward to watching this season outside of your favorite team? It could be a team you haven't really cheered for in the past, a team you think is going to be really exciting, or a team you think is going to collapse. I'd love to hear your opinions. But again, NHL season right around the corner. Super excited. I know you are too. So let's stay tuned. More content to come. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.